Hello, the first project in the new year is about how we can help our less fortunate fellows, the blind. More precisely about how we can write a text in braille and with audio confirmation of the characters. The operating principle is simple. By pressing a number of buttons on lines and columns, in a certain order, the device displays and audio confirms the corresponding text according to the braille language table. I added two commands to the braille table, keys 1 and 6 execute the space command and keys 2, 3, 5, 6 reset the screen and the whole system. The reset operation is followed by the voice text, ready, which confirms that the system is ready to write a new text. You can find the audio files with the alphabet and commands in the description. You can also find a link to another video in which I explain the procedure for copying to the card or changing the sounds. A few components are needed, an ESP32 TTGO, a mini DFMP3 player, a micro SD card, a speaker, six push buttons, a resistor. You can see in the pictures how I built the braille keyboard, you can even build it on a printed circuit or even on a breadboard. It is important to take into account the order of their placement. I numbered them starting from the top left. It should be mentioned that I also tried other methods, with photoresists or infrared. The version with push buttons is the safest in operation. The code is built in the Visuino program. An intuitive and easy program with which you can create projects with just a few clicks of the mouse. Find the code, electrical diagram and details about the libraries used in the description. As soon as we load the code, we observe a lot of logic gates that perform the decoding. We also notice the MP3 player and the ESP32 TTGO board with the related display. Being a rather complicated code, I will not go into details about it. I mentioned that the project is an older one, the Visuino version has undergone numerous improvements since the code was edited and it may not work with the latest version. So you can find the correct version in the description. You can also find the code in Arduino IDE format. The code is loaded into the ESP32 board from Visuino or Arduino IDE. In the Arduino IDE choose the correct board type and port. If you like my projects, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.